Happy 4th of July, everybody. As you can tell, I'm wearing my red, white, and blue. And what better movie to review today than a movie about an American hero teaming up with a Native American Indian and having the American troops attack helpless Native Americans. What up y'all, it's the Black Critic Guy. Happy Independence Day once again, and today I'm here to review the movie the Lone Ranger. So the story of the Lone Ranger follows this lawyer guy who's going to meet his brother for some reason whatsoever. It's not really clear why he's in this town, but he goes to this town to team up with his brother and they go out to hunt this criminal and then they all get ambushed and killed. But there was a lone survivor, a lone ranger. Ah. And so the lawyer guy dons on a mask, teams up with this Native American named Tonto, played by Johnny Depp, and they go out and serve justice. So I'm not gonna beat around the bush with you guys. When I first heard this movie was being made, I wasn't that interested. I mean, it's Johnny Depp playing another eccentric and weird character again that we haven't seen in like 15 other films now. And they just kept showing the trailers over and over again to the point where I was just sick and wasn't looking forward to the movie whatsoever. I really felt like the marketing campaign killed this movie because had they shown maybe a few glimpses of it now and then, I probably might have been more intrigued to see what the movie was. But they just kept bombarding us with trailer after trailer after trailer. I was sick of it. And not only that, but I've seen some reviews and people told me not to go see it. So I had really the lowest of the lowest expectations. Before I even heard the reviews, I already had a low expectation. So what did I think of the movie on the day of our independence? It's really forgettable. It suffers from the same problem as Demon King Daimo, in that it has some awesome action scenes and some spectacular camera work and visuals, but that's about it. The characters are very hollow and one-dimensional, especially your two leads of Johnny Depp and Army Hammer. They don't bond whatsoever in the movie. I felt no chemistry. I felt no connection. Hell, there was one scene where Tonto leaves the Lone Ranger to die, and there's another scene where the Lone Ranger leaves Tonto to die. In fact, the Lone Lone Ranger leaves Tonto to die more frequently in this movie than Tonto leaves the Lone Ranger to die. But that's not to say I didn't like anything in this movie. I thought the acting was solid. I mean, Army Hammer did a good job as the Lone Ranger, and Johnny Depp, of course, did a good job as Tonto. And like I said, there's some awesome action scenes, and I would say that the last 20 minutes of the film was the most entertaining part of the film, but sitting through two and a half hours just to get to that final moment is not worth the wait. I almost dozed off in this movie. That is not even a joke. And yeah, you could say I was watching it in the morning, I just woke up myself, but I mean, if a movie is compelling and interesting, I'm not gonna just doze off. I'm gonna keep watching and keep myself engaged throughout this entire movie. I was just like, oh man, this is... Can we like just get to the point? We really don't get to the main story until like half an hour into the movie. To sum up this movie in two words, it's wasted potential. There was a story to be told here with some fantastic acting and mesmerizing action scenes, but in the end of the day, it's just forgettable. William Fickner was pretty good, although I really didn't feel threatened by him. I mean, he wasn't a looming threat in the grand scheme of the entire plot. He was just that random baddie, you know, getting the good guy's way and we gotta stop him. Cartoon villain. And I mentioned it earlier, but this movie is too damn long. It's two hours and 30 minutes and most of the time you're just bored. There is so many things they could have taken out of this movie. Like the scene in 1933, that entire subplot could have been taken out of the movie. All of the scenes with Helm de Baum Carter could have been taken out of the movie. Some of these small moments sprinkled here and there taken out of the movie. They just add to the runtime, making this movie longer than it needs to be. Honestly, this movie should have been an hour and 40 minutes top. Probably the biggest offense that this movie committed, and you probably didn't even notice this, was the complete waste of talent of Ruth Wilson. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Ruth Wilson, she played a prominent role in the BBC series Luther, starring Idris Elba. And in that show, she plays a very menacing and seductive character that taunts our main character Luther time and time again. And she knocked it out of the park. That was a fantastic role, and she gave a phenomenal performance in the show. And this is her first feature-length film here in the United United States, and to see her playing a very typical, cliche, and generic damsel in distress is just heartbreaking. Such a waste of talent. Give her a role that really stands out, that challenges her as an actress, because this role 
anybody could have played this role. And the fact that they've given her such a generic role breaks my heart because now she's gonna be typecast in these mega blockbusters to play a damsel in distress for like the next five years until she's like, fuck it, I wanna do something better with my acting career. Which she should be doing now. Yeah, yeah, I'm done with that little tirade. Overall, guys, I found the movie very generic and dull, boring, way too long. The characters had no depth to them whatsoever. The action scenes were pretty cool, but that's about it. It's a nice looking movie. And overall, I'm going to give this film a 2 out of 5 stars. It's an easily forgettable film. And honestly, guys, after I saw this film, I snuck into Despicable Me 2 to see it again. And you know what? I had a ton of fun seeing it for the second time in a row. So if you are going to see any movie this 4th of July weekend, make it Despicable Me 2. Skip this shit. But anyway, what did you guys think of this film? Did you like it a lot? Did you feel like it was a waste of potential put on screen? And let me know who is an actor that you feel like does great performances but never gets the roles that he or she deserves. Comment below, let me know. Also check out my new top 10 list on my top 10 best friends and cartoons if you have not seen that already. And we're probably going to do another episode of You Beck, hopefully this weekend, I'm not too sure. Don't hold me to it, but I'm hoping we do. But until then guys, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Black Critic Guy. Like this video if you really enjoyed it, happy 4th of July as always, and I'm Tony Wilder II from the Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace YouTube.